Welcome back to Uncle Joe's Farm. I'm Uncle Joe. Today we're going to be tackling our chicken watering system because this thing has got to go. Let me show you what we're doing. So I got on Amazon and found these autofill chicken watering cups. They're just a cheap set. I'll link it down below so you can see which ones I got. I'm just going to use these and install them into this five gallon bucket. Then I can just set this on top of some bricks have the lid on it so it doesn't get dirty and be able to refill it from the top. That's the main thing I don't like with those hanging waters. They get dirty and to refill them you have to take them down, flip them upside down to take the bottom off to refill it. Just not a fan of the way I do that. It's, I kind of dread having to refill our water. So I'm thinking this is going to be a lot easier. So let's get to it. As far as supplies, the water is in the five gallon bucket obviously. Then I just got my drill, a 3 8 drill bit, and a marker and a tape measure just to mark where I'm drilling the holes at. All right, let's see how we're gonna do this. So it has very simple instructions. Measure, mark one inch from the bottom of your container, create holes using a 3 8 drill bit, manually screw the autofill cup, leave washer attached, into the drill hole, turn clockwise, attach the wing nut to the exposed threads of the elbow at the inside of the container. Gonna figure that out, but um, good, simple instructions. I like it. Oh, and they give you an extra one on them in case I guess one of them's broken, that's nice. So let's see here, I've got, not kind of the extra, we have got one, two, three, four, we've got six cups. And I'm thinking I wanna put them all on one side of the bucket just to make it easier to move around if I need to. I'm gonna measure more than one inch. One inch kind of still isn't hanging over the edge, which I don't want. I know I'll have less water there, but I'm gonna do three and a half inches above the bottom of the container. I know there's gonna be a lot more water underneath that can't get into these, but I wanna be able to pick up and move the bucket around and not worry about knocking these cups off because they're hanging over the edge. So we're gonna do three and a half inches. Here we go. Let's do one first and uh, so we can adjust if we need to. All right, I'm just taking a little plastic wing nut off. I can see how these could fail. It is all plastic, so plastic and nut just do not seem to go well together and coming out of my mouth, but that's okay. I'm threading it like it said to do. All right, it's pretty snug. And then I'm just putting the wing nut on the inside. All right, it can still sit fine. There's plenty of room underneath it. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna do the other four. This is actually extremely simple. Very, very simple. I figured it would be, but. Seems like it'd probably be smart to get some sandpaper and kind of smooth up these edges. So for keeping the rubber washer on the outside, screwing it in and putting the wing nut on the inside. I've done four. I think I'm gonna just leave it at four. I've only got eight chickens. They're not all gonna be drinking at the same time. And if they do, they can probably share one of these little cups. <laughs> I guess it's just time to fill it up and see how it works. Let's go. I'm gonna move the water back a little bit to here. Um, I got these two bricks to set them on to raise up a little bit, keep a little bit cleaner. I have a feeling I might add a few more than this. The higher it gets, I think the less dirty it'll get. So let's bring it in here. So 
So I think it's working really well. I want to point out that I did put them all on one side and I lined it up to where it's on one side of the handle. So when I'm carrying it, this back side is against my leg and I'm not knocking off these plastic cups. But they work great. They fill up with water until they get to the point where they fall down and they stop filling. Um, it's great, they fill up, they don't overfill. Now we just have to get the chickens to drink out of them. Now I'll show you how it works here, but when the cup is down, so when it has water in it, the valve shuts off. When it's light enough, it fills back up. It's working really great. And you can see now it's filled up enough and the water stopped coming out. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'd really appreciate it. Next time I'm going to be making a no waste chicken feeder. We're going to be getting rid of that hanging chicken feeder, just like we got rid of this hanging chicken waterer and getting a new system in place. So I'm excited for that video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.